Today we're going to finish up our chick collage. Last time we did our chick and our egg and we glued them onto the paper. Today we're going to add some details. We're going to do some grass and then we're going to do a beak and some eyes. We're going to first start with the eyes. You're going to get just a small piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half so it's sort of like a book. And then once you have it folded, you can draw a circle. Now, I don't want to have my eyes this big. If it fills up this whole paper, do you see how big those eyes would be compared to the chick's head? That's going to look a little funny. So I'm going to make my eyes a little bit smaller so that those will make sense. And see, I can put it up here and see, oh yeah, that seems to make sense. Then once it's drawn, I'm going to keep it folded and I'm going to cut once to get my two eyes. This is gonna be the white part of the eye. Again, I'm turning as I cut. My helper hand is busy. And then I can lay those down to put the eyes on. Then I'm going to do a black dot in the center. Now, it might be helpful if you take your circle, your white circle that you drew, or that you cut out and put that on top of your black so you get an idea of how small that has to be. So if I were to fold this in half again, just like I did my whites, if I cut this big, that would be how that would be the same size as the white, but I want the black to be smaller, so I need to cut my circle smaller. So I'm going to go in quite a bit more. And I can see what that looks like. Those blacks are still kind of big, I think. So I'm going to cut this a little bit more. Make it even smaller. So I'm going to put those papers back together and I'm going to cut some more off. So I'm going to go around one more time and cut a little bit more off. And there we go. Oh yes, I like that much better. So now I have my eyes done. Then I'm gonna make my beak and I have a orange piece of paper I'm just gonna fold in half again. And I'm gonna make a triangle out of this. So what I'm gonna do is when I look at this, I'm gonna envision the capital letter A and I'm gonna cut a shape. So it comes to a point on one side like that. The bottom of the A should be where the fold is. So then, if I just glue that down, then the chick mouth can open. And then finally, I have a couple different types of greens here that I can use to make some grass. And all we're going to do with the grass is we're going to make some triangles. So I can just cut, I probably don't want them, well maybe the ends could be this long. So if I just cut sort of like at a diagonal, I could even have that be one of my pieces of grass. And then this cutoff could be my piece of grass over here. And then maybe this one I'll make a little bit smaller and thinner, maybe not go so far up. And then I can make another one that way. Maybe cut this in half. So I'm just trying to make some diagonal lines that can represent the grass. And I can just sort of place them where I would like. And then once I have them placed, I can glue them down. 